Boston did it right, whether it was Brad Stevens who did it right, whether it was the Brooklyn Nets who messed up, whether it was Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown just developing the right way, they got it right with the two guys. They've surrounded them with unbelievable role players who seem to be all-stars. They're just going to continue to win. And so this is the first, but it's the first of many. And I expect, especially in the next five years, you lock this group up. I say two championships minimum, and I'm, I'm, even, I'm not disappointed with two championships, but I would say they're going to win three in the next five years minimum. Minimum. And, wow. Minimum. I don't so see. They're, they're, so they're I think State everything. Warriors, what? Golden State Warriors of. So they're the Warriors of, 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 this, I of think, this decade. I think when you look at the 2017, 2018 Warriors, you can compare them to the 2024 Celtics and what we're about to see with this Celtics group in the next two to three years. I think they have a very similar uh, roster in terms of every guy you see on the court for the Celtics. Not only can they shoot the rock, but they can get the ball and go to the hoop and score a bucket. And that's a very rare thing for all five guys on that court to be bucket getters. There's usually a missing link or there's usually, you know, a weak link where you can put Luka Doncic in guard. You can have Luka Doncic, who's not a great defender, put him on the guy in the corner and, and he's not as much of a defensive liability in the Western Conference Finals. Whereas against Boston, you can't hide Luka Doncic. He was going to get exposed one way or another. And it just happened that he was getting exposed by Tatum, then Brown, then every other dude that was on the Celtics. We have, in many ways, the perfect team. Tomo, you had a question? Yes. So if this team is comparable to 2018, does that make Jason Tatum Clay Thompson or Kevon Looney? Kevin Durant. Um <laughs> so I would I would even say we the finals we love, MVP. We all love Clay Thompson, right? For the player that he was and and the prime that he experienced, but we all understand he's not the Clay Thompson of old right now. I would say that the best version of Clay Thompson, I would take Jalen Brown because of what he does in terms of everything he he can guard obviously Clay was a great defender but the one-on-one -on -one ability of Jalen Brown the go get a bucket of Jalen Brown that doesn't happen out of Clay Thompson he scores 60 points on four dribbles which is also great but to me I think Brown offers more than Clay Thompson which is why you can say that this 2024 Celtics roster is almost a better roster than the 2018 Golden State Warriors you guys fight that? This this Celtics I'm trying team, to think of the whole roster. Yeah, uh, go five to them. five. We'll go. Yeah, I'm gonna say if you go on roster versus roster, 2018 Warriors it, versus Steph Curry, Celtics. Steph Curry and KD. You got to look at those two guys and say, damn. But you also have to say, uh -huh. put your respect on Jason Tatum and Jalen. <laughs> that's what that's what a scale you, gets. I know. I'm about to say that's but, where it gets messed they up. They have Zaza Pachulia. They have right Javale McGee, whereas we have Chris Stapps or right. Derek White or Drew Holiday as our third, fourth, and fifth guys. options. Wait, wait, wait. How did you go from Zaza? How did you compare Zaza and Javale to, to your third, fourth, and best players? Yeah. Why would you compare Warriors, your third, their third, fourth, and best players to your third, fourth, and best players? The Warriors had. In that starting lineup, I would say, unless you threw Andre Iguodala in there, it was usually four or five guys. There was usually a Zaza or there was a JaVale. There was a weak link in that starting five. Boston does not have a weak link in their starting five. They're all all-stars. No, Iggy started for them in the playoffs. Fine. I just don't think you can stop the Boston team. And, and just because there were injuries this year, and dude, we, we made Dallas, who – got through the Western Conference, we made Dallas look like a JV team. It was not close. And so say what you want about it being an easy path. We're going to run over everybody for the next three years, healthy or not. We got to be healthy. The other teams, they can be healthy. They don't need to be, whatever it is. We're going to blow them out either way. So the, so the, so the Golden State Warriors roster at that time, if I want to make sure I'm clear, we got Stephen Clay in the backcourt. Yep. We got Dre at yep. the three. We got KD at the four. And we got Looney at the five. Okay, that, that yep. that's their five. Yep. So you want to match up the Boston Celtics five where you got Drew and Derek White. Yep. And you got Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and KP at the five. I think mm -hmm. KD tips the scale. At, unless at, at, unless in, you in feel a certain unless in, you in feel the way that I feel about Jason Tatum, which I know and, you do. And, and, I love Jason mm -hmm. Tatum, but sure I do. One hundred percent I do. However. Jason Tatum compared to 2018 KD 
Those two guys are not the same. No, different players. Not. Different 100% players. I are. think Tatum's and, role this year was yeah. more like a LeBron than it was a KD, whereas in 22, yeah. it was more like Tatum was forming into like a KD. He beats yeah. Brooklyn, and then he kind of took the torch in many ways, and you were like, holy shit, is Jason Tatum just the next Kevin Durant, but bigger, better, faster, stronger? And then you kind of realize this year, when he's not shooting the ball well, well, he can do everything else really good. When the shot's Meanwhile, not falling, he was able to say, I ain't letting my team lose. Meanwhile, with KD on that crew, when his shot was falling, which very rarely it wasn't falling with him because him having two and three guys on him in Oklahoma City, only having one guy on him in Oklahoma City really expanded his game. And on top of that, him being much better as an athlete as he was today in 2018, his ability to get downhill and stop and pop made that offense, in fact, to the roof what it already was. So now you add in 29, you add in 28, 29 a game to an already potent offense. Kevin, Jason Tatum, who for all intents purposes gets busy as a scorer, 100% he does. And he does get busy as a distributor and he did, he did expand his game, but for what Kevin Durant added to that unit, for what Kevin Durant added to that unit in an unpassive way, because Jason Tatum, even though as good as he is at all those other things, a distributor, a defender, he could be passive at times, and that yeah. could thwart them. KD was never that. It was mm -hmm. no question who KD was. Bring the pill over here. I will get busy. Even when I don't have going, I will get going. And that's not a problem with me. So when you add in KD, you tip the scale tremendously as opposed to with Jason Tatum because we could still survive with KD getting busy as opposed to with Jason Tatum. Could we still survive? We did, but long term, it's going to be tough. Look at like – now, I know this isn't the question, but ask yourself, Tatum's 28, Brown's 29, two years from, from where we are right now. Sure. I would say that, like any other dynasty, this Celtics team is just going to be 5x better or 10x better or whatever it is. So take them in two years when they're all – they've gotten a lot of experience. So how much more experience can you truly get? But I, I think if you win a title, you're just going to be better and better. And so two years removed from now – you got to imagine that this Celtics team could be better than the KD Warriors. Well, we got a lot, a lot of factors have to, a lot of things have to factor into that. Cause remember, I believe over the last five years, Different the, defending NBA, yep. the def defending NBA champ got bounced, I believe, in the second round. Mm -hmm. With the exception, with the exception of the Lakers, they're the only ones to go to the Western Conference. But the defending NBA champ, so you, you got to take health into you have, you have to take health into that equation. You got to put money into that equation. You guys paid everybody, so yep. you're looking down the road three, four years. The difference between them and the Warriors is you got you got um, Steph Curry on the cheap, you got Klay Thompson on the cheap, you got Dre on the cheap. So you were able to keep this group together way longer than you're probably going to be able to keep the Boston Celtics. Because not only did you pay everybody, you paid everybody max money. And when these contracts start to kick in, now, even with bird rights, you go way over the salary cap. But I want to mm -hmm. stick to I want to stick to what we talked about in terms of basketball. I do understand. I do understand how good Jason Tatum is. I'm a Jason Tatum guy. I do understand how good he is. But when you're talking about this 2018 team, when you add 28 a game consistently to a roster that was already getting busy, that was already, I believe it was in 2015, they had the best offense in NBA history, and you add 28 a game to that, it's pretty difficult to deal with that on mm -hmm. any level. As good as Jason Tatum is at adding the other stuff, I don't think that that trumps 28 a game to already the best offense in the league. You can't. I think they just, I think they can match up with them. And if I were to say who are the two greatest teams of all time, it would be the 2018 Warriors and the 24 Celtics until the Celtics prove me wrong. And it's the 26 Celtics. Of all time? Like, ever? All time. Yes, Those are ever, the two greatest ever, teams ever of all time. Existence. Like, even when we go back to like the Egyptian days, hey, and hey, it was it's, it's not about, Jerusalem? it's not about the Bulls winning six in a row. It's about one year. You put all those teams in the same 2K franchise and you run it. So, who, who so, comes so out here's on what we're not doing. The 2024 the, – the, I'm sorry, Mars, you had your hand up. Um, are the 2024 Celtics better than the 2018 Rockets? Yes. Yes. Because they – the 24 Celtics were dealing – not dealing, but like the shooting struggles of the Celtics at times, everyone would bring up, oh, this is the 2018 Rockets that we're being reminded of right now. And then the Celtics would bounce back because they had everything else. They had the defense. And the defense was almost the more impressive part of this championship team. Okay, so if you – and I'm I'm not disagreeing or agreeing. I'm just asking questions. If you think 
and this is more for chill because Jack's made his part of this clip. <laughs> if if you think the twenty eighteen the twenty twenty four Celtics are better than the twenty eighteen Rockets, but the Rockets went to seven games with the Warriors, why is it crazy to say the Celtics would beat the Warriors? Right. Why is it crazy to it's say all yeah. it's all yeah. matchup? It's all matchup. If, if, if the Rockets go seven with them and the Celtics are better than the Rockets. I didn't say that the Warriors. What I, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that the Warriors would. I mean, the Celtics wouldn't beat them. I'm thinking that with KD, I just feel like he, he tips the scale. He was one hundred percent, one hundred percent, and they did. They they did go to seven games, but what ultimately happened? Yeah, they won. Yeah, they did win. I mean, it's not crazy against, to say against, that they against the win. KD tip the scale, or does he even it? You add no, I KD, think he, I think he and I feel the scale. like. Mm -mm. Yeah. When you when you add in twenty when you add in 27, 28 a game to a to a roster to a to an offense that's even more potent. I mean, they beat them without KD. Yeah, they beat them without KD. Got to look at you got to look the, at Drew Holiday entire, and Chris Stapps as in yeah, the addition and D White and the right. rise of D White. I don't know. So are the other are the, are the twenty four Celtics better than the twenty sixteen Warriors? Cho? Damn. No. Mm -mm. You know, I'm a Steph guy too. I love Steph. No, so this is very true. difficult for me. Okay. Because so, that's not, you, the, you the, the reason why better than eighteen or sixteen. No, I don't. I, I, I don't think that. I don't think they better than the sixteen Warriors. From just from a just, just from a continuity standpoint, that crew had been together for a while. How they were rolling offensively, everything that they were doing. No, I don't think that they were better than the twenty sixteen Warriors. No, I don't think that. I don't okay. think they were better. I don't think they was better than the twenty sixteen Warriors. I don't think they was better than the two thousand one Lakers. I don't think they was better than the eighty six Lakers. I don't think they was better than the ninety one or the ninety two Bulls. I don't think they was better than the ninety four Rockets. I don't think they were better than the two thousand Lakers. I don't think that they would. Man, I can I can name. Was a there anything that going, they? Still? Was there a team they could have played during this playoffs that you would have said, "Oh, damn!" Like they beat Denver. In the in the championship and not Dallas, would you then say I'm more impressed by Boston and they could beat the 2016 Warriors? Even if no, oh. I, I still had them winning the NBA championship, but I yeah, don't have them. I don't I don't I don't have them valued as high as you did. I don't mm -hmm. I don't think in terms of a. I mean, we actually we actually ran down the champions from the last 25 years from 2000 and where the Boston Celtics rank. Yeah, all those champions. Where were they on that list? Years. They were they were close to the bottom. They they were they, they they were close to the bottom. I, I I don't think that they were better, and I wasn't in the minority with this. I don't think they better than the nineteen Raptors. I don't think they were better than the sixteen Warriors. I don't think that they were better than the thirteen Heat. I don't think that they were better than the uh, 09 Lakers. I don't think that they were better than the O five Spurs. I don't think they were better than the O three Spurs. I don't think they were better than any of those Laker teams. None of them. None of those Laker teams. Um, they weren't better than the twenty twenty Lakers. Uh. I think we had a conversation about Milwaukee in 2021, but we already saw them play against the Warriors in 2022. They weren't better than them, so they were they were closer to the bottom than being than, this than being Celtic, the, the best. I think, Celtic, I think the Celtics, we're not Celtics about are becoming the underrated. I'm not gonna. What lie. are we arguing about now? I hear Celtics talk again. Or did I walk back into them? Uh, oh, Jack, 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 Jack said the yeah. Jack said this year's Celtics are the best or the second best team ever. Wait, wait, and, wait, hold on. Hold he, on. he said they beat the 2018 Warriors. And um, I would it's say it's interesting wait, to me using Jack. 18 and not 17, but I mean um I Jack, you're from Boston? No. Can I right, just Connecticut? Just, you're from Boston's Connecticut, Boston. but a Boston basically fan. Boston. So you're basically <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically Boston. Yeah. Could I I think Connecticut, I would think Boston too. Yeah. Yeah. England, just, think you connected Boston to well. either Massachusetts or New York. Right, right, right. Just like New Jersey and New York. But New Jersey is really just you know, New York East, right? Chill. No, it's not. Um I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, don't get mad at me. Um <laughs> do you i'm about to get in trouble with a lot of people too chill <laughs> uh jack let's have a fair conversation let's, here. let's, let's just talk. you know let's me talk. and you let's just i wanted y'all bro um and i yes. want you next year no, i i do understand that i do understand that but Who's jack um, he's, he's saying denver because some, somehow i represent denver even though i got an atlanta hat on right now um but whatever i just keep <laughs> to, to each his own um i uh i would like to say that jack i i appreciate your optimism um again i want to shout out my friend dan greenberg on uh on twitter uh who has been upset with me many times over the last couple of months um i want to say this to you jack that i do agree the celtics are one of the best teams ever i think context is that they went 16 and 3 on a finals run shield they deserve all the credit for that mars knows i said this they deserve all the credit for it I, this is me not trolling ron so please please ron 
stay within moderator mode because you're going to do that thing where you're going like, i don't know swiper stay keep the, don't don't leave that leave that alone Ox, okay. right, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're I know exactly right. what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I have, I have witnesses. So, um, Jack, you, I think, are right to believe in your team and in the uh, great energy, the legacy of the Boston Celtics, the mm. long-standing, fiery Southern energy of the Celtics, right? Um, but I think on the other end of this is we can all acknowledge as well that you played one of the again no no slight one one of the most unchallenging runs just because of injury not because of anything the Celtics did purely because of injuries no Jimmy Butler no Donovan no Jarrett at least for two games no Donovan and then no Halley for two games and you played the Indiana Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals who many of us would say are probably not a top five team. What, 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 what just, what, Mars, Respect what's wrong? Respect the best offense in the NBA? No, I know, Mars, please, please. I'm I'm legit just trying to get through a run that's not going to be full of any narrative stuff. They already, they were. But they played the Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals. And I think that all that included, and then you played versus the Mavericks, and Luka was obviously whatever. I think you deserve all the credit for that. But I think the reason why you're not going to get off, best team of all time or second, it's because we have eyeballs, okay? We have eyeball, uh, the eyeballs and ears and three other senses, uh, chill, three other senses that we have all available. And all that, you're, see, what happens is biologically, our bodies, what they do is they take all these senses, they put information together. And when you get this information, the brain interprets <laughs> as based on the context and the life that you've lived or information you've gathered and, and you know, where all that stuff. Now, Jax, your your five senses are telling you that this is the truth because of your bias. Okay, your real your real five senses are telling you. I think you this I'm is not biased. Truth. You're biased against and then, something. And, 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 the 19, <laughs> and in the nineteen, the so 19, my bias goes like, "Whoo!" The, I'm like, Jack, bro, the, I'm not you're, being so biased. You're I'm telling being me factual. I'm telling the that truth. That the Celtics are better than one of. No, 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 uh, Mars, I'm, I'm chill, no, no, chill, stay chill, there, appreciate stay it. There, stay there, stay there. The, the, the 83, no. the 83 76ers. 1983. Okay. The, 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 the 86 Celtics. No. The Bulls in the nine, any, just pick the, 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 the main Bulls team. It's 96, whatever. And then even, dare I say, the 2014 Spurs. Dare I say, the 2017-18 Warriors. Dare I say... Dare I say last year's Nuggets? You if think you they're better roster than all roster, of those teams? Can. Roster for roster? That's not how basketball is played. If we go by how Boston is played, there's no way you think a team from 1983 is oh, beating the Celtics. Yeah, okay, okay. Because don't say that's not how Boston was played. Because we're not right. doing this how Boston was played. Because there's right. no way Listen. you think that 83 Sixers team is beating this 20. What about the Celtics in the 80, 86? So, is that too far? There's no way you think a team from 1986. Because there are a bunch of white players. What is the bias about? What's the there's bias no, about? No, there's no way you can say, well, based on why because of athleticism made, and the team that shot seven threes a game is beating the Celtics shooting fifty. Like, so don't talk about how basketball was played because clearly this conversation is not going to be about how basketball was played because how basketball. So was you're played, saying relative mathematically to in the era, relative into the era, Boston, you don't think yeah, it's better because of three point volume and all that stuff. That was stuff. in relative to era, so it's not how basketball was played. We can't say it's relative to error and then say how Boston was playing. Okay, so that's, that's, based, that's based on the three-point shot, Jack, I'm going to stay above 95. That's a contradiction. I'll, I'll stay above 95 just for you. So I named four teams. Four. Yep. Do you do y'all think that the ever to me. Matter of fact, 01, 01 Lakers. Do y'all think that the, the Celtics are better than 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 the, the, the four teams I've listed past 2000? Yes. Yes, yes. I, I told, told you how I feel. It's 2018 yes, Warriors and it's the 2024 Celtics. They would beat the 14 Spurs in a series. Okay. Probably sweep them, but based okay. on what, Moss? What, what what are you basing that on? That are 14 Spurs with more talent. Is it that simple? They, yes, that are 14 Spurs with more talent. They move the ball excellently. They space the floor better than maybe any team that's ever existed. They have two-way players everywhere. There's no mismatch to, to abuse. The 14 Spurs didn't have a post presence to maybe take advantage of their one clear mismatch because Tim Duncan wasn't a scorer at that point in time. The 14 Spurs are just the 24 Celtics with less talent. They move the ball better. 
but they have less good players. It was Manu Ginobili in the last three years of his career. Tony Parker was their best player. Move the ball better than that 2014 Spurs. I never said. I said. I said the 14 Spurs moved the ball better. I said. Oh, I thought. I'm sorry. I heard. But the Celtics moved the ball fantastically with more talent, shoot the three way more, and have better defenders from top to bottom, more versatile, and the one weakness the, the Celtics may have is that post the um defending down low which is why I think like the Nuggets and the Lakers the Shaq could mm-hmm. pro- pose a problem the Spurs don't have that because Tim Duncan wasn't sure. much of a scoring presence at that point the 14 right. Spurs just yeah they're just no so they played Jack, great basketball if, it was very if the, if the Nuggets this year for instance because you, you go ahead you I don't want to I, I want to no keep going because I, I, I want to get back to what Mars was talking about because they're yeah. more talented okay we've seen more talented sure. teams lose so that's number one Number two, we've seen this team who was actually favored against the Celtics, favored against the Golden State Warriors because they were more talented than the Golden Mm -hmm. State Warriors in 22, and they lost. So the Mm -hmm. talent logic, that doesn't work, Mars. Now, the fact that the Golden State Warriors, the fact that the the San Antonio Spurs moved the ball, that means that they put the Boston Celtics on the defense. Boston has a great defense. I won't argue that. But the fact that they put them on the defense as much as they do, that's going to affect their offense because they didn't see a team like that this season in particular who moved the basketball like that. Not only moved the basketball like that, but moved the basketball like that as efficiently as they did, getting cuts. You're under the impression, Mars, that we're going to have to play because you just brought up they shoot 45 threes to the San Antonio Spurs shooting seven. You're under the impression that, that was the six, 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 I don't know. I don't okay, know how so, much the Spurs show. Maybe like twenty five. Maybe. Okay. Well, let, 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 let's let, well, let's. Say, wait, wait. Didn't uh, didn't uh, didn't Danny Green make twenty five threes? And that was the NBA record at the time in that yeah. in that series. Was that in the thirteen finals or the fourteen finals? The thirteen finals. There was a question. Thirteen if, is where I think if, he said if the they would have won it. That Danny. Mm-hmm. There was a question yeah. that Danny Green could have been the right. finals yeah. MVP. I, I, they I, made I, they made eight they and a half them. threes a game in twenty five. Right. They give the finals right. MVP. The point that I'm the the point that I'm making with that Mars is that you're under you're under the impression that we have to play like that. No, we don't have to play like that. The, go- the 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 Detroit Pistons in 2004 proved that we don't have to get sucked into the way you play because if no. we get sucked into the way you play, we're going to get blown out. I understand how important the long ball is in today's game. I understand how important stretching the defense is in, the, in today's game. But if you can stick to your principles, which is what the San Antonio Spurs did, which made them as good as they were, they never allowed anybody to make them play, even though they could, because how good they were defensively, even though they could, how good they moved the basketball, they never allowed anybody to take them out of the way that they play. And a Boston Celtic team who is as good as they are shooting the long ball like you say they are doesn't necessarily mean that we have to play like that because if we get sucked into the way you play, we're going to get blown out. Don't they stop don't there, to play don't, like that. Don't, don't the points are going to be on the board. They're just going to make them up somehow. I'm not saying don't. they have to play the way the Celtics do. But factually, if one team makes 16 threes and one team makes eight, you're at a 24-point disadvantage. That's yeah, but Denver, the, the Spurs yeah. have to make up those 24 points in other ways. Offensive rebounding, layups, getting to the free throw line. There's other ways to make it up. About the but they are, factu- they are factually starting at a deficit because of the three-point shot. I'm not well, saying they have to do as many threes, but they are factually starting at that deficit because they're not going to get up as many as Boston. Can well, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's how it works. That's how it works. We, we yes. understand that. Just, just because you make more yes. threes doesn't mean, doesn't mean that, you, that you win the game, though. Yes, you know I mean? of course. So we, we, we understand that. But I want to say this, Mark, uh, chill, because I, I thought I thought when you cut in there, I thought you was going to point out the obvious. Saying that they didn't have a post presence is, is crazy, Mark. Like, to say that Tim Duncan wasn't... He, he, now, now, no, yeah, now, no, now, no, now, no, Mars is looking at Tim Duncan. He, he wasn't... He right, wasn't, Mars is... That's, that's who he's looking at. Score, sure, he's saying. looking at Tim Duncan from... Two, that, he's not board, the same yeah. two Duncan that he was... Well, once again, not a scorer. No, he, he, they he didn't. They didn't use the post to score. It's like how the Warriors use Draymond Green in the post. They put him in the post, but they don't use him to score. Tim sure. Duncan wasn't used to score at that point. Now, he could still score. You give the ball to Tim Duncan, he can still score. But that wasn't what they used the post for. They were running their split cuts. They were again, they yeah, were man, using Tony Parker. Sure. As a, yeah, that, I mean, that's we, what they we, used the post. Can, yeah. of, of course, of course, it wasn't like maybe it wasn't like the old days or or what we've seen in previous championship runs. But sure. he was still very much a post presence. Very. And much on top much. of that, he, he and, wasn't and, Jokic or Shaq, and that's the ones where I was like, that's what I think is going to cause Boston the most problem. Not like I think Sabonis is a post presence. I don't think he's going to destroy the the. The Celtics. I, I think, think that what Tim Duncan was in fourteen. I don't think that's the offensive X factor. That's like, yeah, that's the thing they have no answer for. Even though Tim Duncan was great. Jack, do you do you, do you honestly think, answer. based on all the things you've seen in the last two years, that if, if y'all, if both teams, hopefully we get it next year, both teams were fully healthy, that y'all would have beat the Nuggets? So I was gonna just talk about the Nuggets. I think 
the Nuggets, if they got to the finals this year, it presents the matchup of the Nuggets don't shoot the three and the Celtics shoot the heck out of the three. And the Nuggets are going to stick to the non-three game and the Celtics are going to stick to their game and we were going to get to see how that kind of unfolds. Question to me, I think, I think that's a hell of a matchup. It, it would have gone seven. I, I said at the start of the playoffs, I'm like, I think we sweep every team. Then we get to Denver and it's a seven game series. And at that point, we just got to see Tatum and Brown do what Tatum and Brown do best. And so I would love to see it next year, but it's going to be a hell of a series. So Swiper, is, is it your estimation that with the Boston Celtics, it's, it's just a matter of I'm better at my game than you are at your game? Well, yeah, I think styles make fights. And I think that the, sure. the Nuggets Celtics matchups the last four, the last two years, they played four times. The first one, the Celtics went haywire chill. I mean, just bow, bow, bow. And they got, I think Nuggets got beat by 26 or something like that. Like they just had no answer. The next game, Jamal Murray didn't play it in January 1st of 23. The Nuggets won, I think, 123 to 112 or something like that. If I remember the score, I can't remember the exact score correctly. Jokic had, I think, a 30, 10, and 10 game on a 94 uh, true shooting or something that game. Mm-hmm. Bruce Brown went crazy. And See, then you, you're Jokic fan. I don't know. You're remembering <laughs> scores from two and a half years ago. What are I remember, but I remember basketball this way, period, though. Like, I just, <laughs> I just, I like basketball. Me, 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 John Elway threw for 330, 30, 30 yards against the Falcons, uh, chill, and when got enough, uh, two bone beat me. I, I, I'm sorry, like, a good, good moments I remember. Like, I'll tell you, I remember stuff like that too. So I know, but, double nickel from in the garden from Michael Jordan. Like, I remember, you know what I mean? Just swipe a what did Clint Capella do on February 14th? Who? What did Clint Capella do on February 16th, 2023? Clint Capella? Uh, I don't know. Respect. Uh, You're in Atlanta. You're wearing a hat. Clint Capella? Yeah, I know. But, you know, we, we Ron, know. Ron, didn't he that. just say like five That's minutes right. ago, That's straight into your moderator mode, Ron? Did he Thank just say you. That? Take, that take Here we go. Off. Here we go, Ron. We was just Take, take your wig off, Ron. How about Garbage. that? Take Damn. your wig off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> chill I'm so sorry. this is this I'm is wait, this wait, is wait, the wait. other side of that jack <laughs> i think i think if you would have got to this this matchup i think the regular season is whatever whatever but i, I think that it would have been interesting but that would have come down to jamal murray's health if jamal's calf is and whatever but if he's healthy he just has shown the ability to attack people consistently and whatever but i think Jokic would have just absolutely like obviously he would have the, 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 the gap between him and jason tatum in that series for the best player would have just been like ginormous like jimmy butler last year you know so you know but it would have been interesting it would have been a good matchup so who's the best friend wait who's the best friend in the series Jokic is always yes uh, well second but I, it will come down I, the question will be like second offensively not not all around it would be tatum obviously but offensively who would be the second best player in that series i think would have been the question jason tatum i think jason tatum is the second best player in that series no, no, I'm saying in the series offensively, like you know, Murray. Oh, offensively, like, yeah, Jason yeah, just Tatum. in terms of who, yes, you know, Jason I mean, Tatum. It, 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 would it depend? I mean, we'll see. Uh, Jason Tatum will be the second best offensive player and the best defensive player in the series. Best defensive player, this is this is Denver versus yes. the Celtics. It would be, yes, best defensive player. Mm, yes. That's interesting. Are, are we forgetting the finals MVP? Yeah, Drew, no, 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 well, no, I've acknowledged his existence, not really. <laughs> he'll be the he'll be the third best player in the series. Who, JB? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. How much a year does? All right, but yeah, for real. I hope we it's get crazy. Next year. I know it, it, Jamal Murray hope, hasn't been bad in Jalen Brown or Boss Boy. We don't even so. need to get into sure. yep, yep, Tatum yep, and Brown yep, debate yep, right yep, now. Yep. But I just think it's ridiculous that people actually think Brown is a better basketball player than Tatum. It's it's not close. Respect Jalen Brown. What? You can respect Jaylen somebody, Malls, and yeah. it's still not better. That's yeah, not the it's point, just it's not. I, 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 I respect. You're the last person to talk do, about this. Get under Jalen Brown. No, no, I, I respect Scottie Pippen. He wasn't better than Jordan. I respect that's not him. The, that's not the conversation. That, that uh, I'm like, good thing they don't have a Jordan on the team. Then good thing. I'm sorry. I don't have to think about that. They have Jason Tatum. What does that mean? He led the team in points. Both are closer to Scottie Pippen than they are to Jordan. So both of them are in the same tier. Chill. You're 1,000 percent right.